Today we're going to talk with, talk with Mark Solak, our project manager for the Caretaker Residence Project. Uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about um, what part of the project we're on and what's happening around us at the moment. So uh, yeah, let's introduce Mark. Good morning, I'm Mark. Um, I'm the project manager on the job. I was hired by Eric and the rest of the committee to assist in the construction of the Caretaker Residence. Um, I'm really happy to be involved in the project. Eric and the rest of the caretakers have really done a great job participating and uh, they're really making it their home and I'm, I'm really happy to see that because I like people to be involved in their own houses. Um, right now in the process we've finished the main structure of the house. It's a, it's a freestanding structure. The walls inside are nothing more than uh, visual ways to break up the interior. It is the exterior is self-supporting between the floors and the walls and the roof. We're able to build the walls pretty much wherever you want to. Um, this floor is all set up with radiant floor heat. The radiant floor heat is the PEX piping right here. It's specially manufactured for use in radiant floor heat. It runs a zigzag pattern throughout the entire floor and it's set into sand, and that sand will warm up and keep the floor warm, which will radiate up into the room and keep the place warm. Our walls are all super insulated, so that warmth will stay there. Uh, what we've done is, I've been a... Eric just was cutting during the <laughs> He forgot the film was on. <laughs> I've taken and laid down all the floor plates where all the walls will be built and mark them out for Eric to come in and start standing up walls. Each suite area is basically set up like this section of walls over here. Three bedrooms, one shared bath, a couple of sitting rooms, and a few closets. So that'll happen four different times. There's four different suites basically in, in the house. And then the rest of this floor is a common area, a common kitchen, a gathering area, a community room. Community room for eating, gathering area for just sitting and relaxing. We have an entrance hall, a guest bathroom, and a guest bedroom. And we have somebody run to get out of the front. <laughs> uh, we're going to finish this process. HVAC subcontractor is going upstairs and he's going to finish running his pipe upstairs. Then we're going to start this process the same thing one floor up. That's what the caretakers are doing right now. As far as other crews, um, we have exterior siding and trim all ordered. I think we're really close to deciding on a paint color. We're going to be getting that probably in the next two or three weeks, getting it in, start to paint it and start to install it. Windows are ordered and they will be coming in and a in a short amount of time and instead of having our plastic wrap on the outside we'll go ahead and put real windows in. Uh, our electrical and plumbing will also commence when we're finished with this wall process on the next floor. So in the in the step process or in the process of construction I guess you would call this the rough in stage, a mechanical rough in stage is where we're at right now um, and we will move towards exterior finishes. The roof color has been decided and it will be ordered and as soon as we get it, we'll be putting it on uh, and really start to finish off the outside. So we're roughing in the inside and we're going to work towards finishing the outside. Uh, also this next week we're going to have exterior grading completed. We're going to put conduits between the house, we're going to backfill up against the building and we're going to backfill the greenhouse with topsoil so we'll be ready to install the greenhouse when we finally get it. I think that's about it. Great. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right.